got it down in the low register, panned a little bit to the left or the right. Uh, I put a little distortion on it because I like the way it sounded like that. Um, it's a little thick, so I put on a chorus and I made it have an octave under it. Yeah, so this melody is the only melody in the whole thing. And I think that's why it can be a little crazy is because everything else is just playing like straight whole notes and this has a little riffage going on it's almost like an electric guitar yeah and the top notes are playing the top notes of the chords so where it holds out right there every whole note it does is going to be the same note that's playing underneath it on the pads at that moment it's compressed and it has its own little reverb room compression is to have it stand out in the mix without being extremely loud. With the pads we've got this main pad which is low pass as well as high pass. A really harmonically rich chord progression with a lot of movement. It's like there's melodies in the chords. You see people like Cash Money AP do this kind of thing. Other pad which is a Drake staple which is the riser. So this one is just a saw I made in Serum, just a saw wave unison 4, but the LFO is on two bars and every two bars the low pass filter comes up. You can automate this yourself. I then low pass it again to keep it further down in the mix. And then we have the pad tops. So the pad tops just play the top notes of the chords and it just gives it another harmonic, uh, so it adds depth to it. They're all compressed and put in another room, which some people would say is something not to do but it's all up to you so then all of these are put together and compressed uh, I use the blue compressor in Ableton which I just let it get to the 5 right here um, you know taking off 5 decibels of gain put about 5 decibels back the 5 is a good amount to take off if you're interested in just gluing things together and not really flattening them but just gluing them together, taking some of the space away. So then they're all in this instrument's send, which is, once the bass hits, it high passes a little bit to like 144 hertz. You just wanna high pass it a little bit to get it out of the way of the bass. They're all compressed together. Same things, taking off five decibels of gain, just gluing it together. I didn't add five back. And here's an important part, they're all in reverb and they're pretty stereo sounds. And then I just took some of the stereo width away because that's how it is in the original song and it really allows for, it, for Drake's voice to sit in front of it and not be overpowered. And I added the Cytoshop Ozone, mm, it's stereo separating based on frequency band. So we got the top up here getting uh, a little wider mid-range wider and then I took away the width on the bottom to a pretty good amount and it's for the most part it should be a cone like this um, when mixing I mean that's traditional practice is mono low and slowly gets more stereo but you know it's up for interpretation and then another thing is side chaining it by the bass so that it can really the bass cuts through because there's so little elements that you want the bass to cut through so every time this 808 hits, it's making all of the instruments get lower in volume. Just for a second, just so that it can punch through. Alright, and then we've got the hi-hats and the snare. It was sounding pretty dry, so I put a little reverb on them. This one, it's uh, strangely important. This hat right here, right before it turns around into that second measure, this hat has to be really loud. It, it, that's the one thing I noticed about this hi-hat rhythm is this one has some intensity to it that really helps to make it turn around. It's strange, but it's a good technique. And then for these, it's every other. I, I made low velocity and then high. You can play around with your own little meth. You got the, the three, the three, the three, the three, the three, the three. And this little guy, just a dependable snare pattern, nothing crazy. And then you've got the bass, it's just playing the root note of B. Yeah, it's just playing the B note. The uh, pads are so harmonically dense that to make the 808 do a lot on this song would leave little to no room for the vocalist, for Drake. So it's a really good 
idea to just keep it very straightforward on a track like this. Yeah, I feel like what makes it bouncy This makes it really bouncy. Just having that snare in between those. 